Hey, I'm Dr. Verrilli, and I teach voice here at St. Cloud State University. I also teach vocal pedagogy, which is how to teach voice, and music history. Today you're going to watch a short excerpt of what a voice lesson looks like with my student, Heather. You're going to hear a series of vocalises that I developed for her specifically so that her individual voice can grow and strengthen and become more beautiful. She's preparing for her recital as a Bachelor of Science student in music education, so I hope you enjoy it. into the air okay and you're kind of like hooking it through your nose okay 
Can we start at the... Goodbye now, body on the night shift. Just right before yeah. that, the autumn. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, thanks. <clears throat> Goodbye now, body on the night shift. Come push those planes along. And when the sun comes out, I'll take your place. Oh. So it sparkles on the water. Okay. Can we do La Liberta? <clears throat> yeah. La Liberta. It's better. It's better. I'll work on it. Yeah, no, <laughs> less, less difference in the vowel between A and E. Because I'm seeing A, E. Okay. And if you want it, when you're practicing, make a big portamento. That's fine with me like slide all the way down so you can feel again where the air where you want the air to take your voice and so by doing that slide in practice you can't do it in a gig but it'll help okay it'll help align the vowels in that space mm -hmm. and it'll help align the tone in the same in that resonance okay. area okay so right on it again okay <clears throat> Okay, so when I was making my debut at the Kennedy Center in 1986, I was in college. Um, I was a sophomore in college, and I was selected um, to sing for uh, a concert that was honoring Nadia Boulanger, who is one of the most famous teachers of American composers in the world. And uh, we were honoring her 100th birthday, and I was selected um, to perform on this concert a piece by Aaron Copland for soprano, flute, and clarinet, which was incredibly hard, by the way. Um, we get there, we do our rehearsals, uh, we get our own little dressing room backstage, we're feeling very diva-ish and very important. We start the concert, uh, and I walk out on stage in my fabulous gown, and my hair was done in, you know, very 80s, and uh, I look, scan the audience as I always do, and no kidding, Aaron Copeland was in the audience. And I thought I was going to faint on stage at that moment, that I was singing a piece by Aaron Copeland for Aaron Copeland. And so uh, that was one of the biggest, scariest, and most amazing moments in my life as a singer. <laughs> 